Hello and thank you for joining me. My name is Heather Forgan. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in Scotland. My website is www.stampwithnelly.com and today I want to show you one of Stamping Up's fabulous all-inclusive card kits, the Simply Citrus card kit. Now this costs £30 um, but you can make 15 cards from it and you get everything you need in the box. You get an instruction leaflet um, that gives you layouts for the cards, which you can choose to follow or not. And I will show you a little bit of um, what I've made so far. Also in the kit comes these um, pre-printed pieces that you can stamp on and use and you get card bases that are already pre-printed for you and you get gorgeous envelopes to go with them. There are some other die cuts ready for stamping. You get dimensionals and glue dots, twine, a mini stamping spot, some embellishments, a clear block for stamping and most importantly you get the stamp set and as you can see mine has been well used. I used mine whilst I was on holiday and uh, we had a couple of rainy days that uh, we just decided that we would read books and chill out and I brought out my card kit. So these were the first cards that I made. Now I've pretty much followed that recipe but I just turned it around and for that one I just played about with the twine rather than go with a bow. I've got some loops on there. Again, I've just turned the orientation of that one around. That one's pretty much the same as the instructions and that one is as well. I took another stamping spot away with me. This was one that I had from a previous kit just so that I could add a little bit of extra um, detail in there. So I used that to stamp um, that little fruit slice on there too. So that was my first lot and then I, I'm not very good at repetitive crafting um, so I don't like to make exactly the same thing all over again. So i am just simply mixed up the card bases with the different layers so it, instead of um, doing just a note on that one I just kind of moved that one around um, and I just changed the, the topper that I put on that. Again not using different products just using the same products in a different way. Um, so those were from the first lot and then I changed that to that one and that one. Now I did actually use um, Wishing You a Slice of Happiness which comes from the Cute Fruit stamp set on that one um, because it coordinates really quite well and I thought that was quite nice to have a slice when you've got all those slices there. So these pieces come like that and you then stamp over with the Knight of Navy using the leaves and the slice there so um, it just gives it an extra dimension um, a bit more pop you don't have to you can just use it like that so I thought I would show you what I've already made and what I have still got left over to use so I've got five card bases left over I will always have my stamp set um, and I've still got these elements as well so I'm going to leave you just now 
and I am going to go and have a bit of a play and see how I can use the remainder of my card kit in a completely different way and completely ignore the instructions because I'm quite good at that. Leave it with me and I will be back to show you soon. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I have made my first card um, using different elements um, from the card kit. So the first thing I did um, was that I cut up all of the card bases. So I just cut them straight down the middle so that I had a plain bit and I've still got a patterned bit. So I've used one of the pattern pieces there and I've still got um, four bits that I can use. I'll show you the other one because I'm going to do something with that. Um, and I've also still got bits of the backs of the cards. What I did with this one is I made my standard card base using thick whisper white card. Um, I trim mine down so that it is 10 and a half centimetres by 14 and a half centimetres. So I just reduced the back of one of the card bases to 10 by 14 and then I reduced the front of one of the card bases so that it is, I think that's 9 by 13 centimetres. Okay, so just layered those up. This was one of the elements left over. This was one of the labels that was left over. So I stamped that with just a note. I then stamped the lemon from the stamp set onto the back of the card base of that. So, and then I just fussy cut that out. Now, I am not the best fussy cutter in the world, but even I could manage that. Um, I also stamped the leaves from the set onto these two different card bases and I've cut them out as well. So the only thing um, that I've added to all of this is the card base. That didn't come in the kit, but everything else it. So I've not added any of the twine or the embellishments to this, I've just kept it a bit more simple. Um, this little piece here is just a bit that I trimmed off the bottom of um, the card base to make it fit as one of my layers. So I've still got lots left over and I've got lots of little bits that I've trimmed off card bases that I can use as well. So I've already prepped the second one that I'm going to do and I'll just um, finish that off with you. So once again I've got my standard card base and I have trimmed a card front down on that one and I am just going to add that to my card base right now. Didn't want to come out first and then it's all come out at once. So I'm just lining that up so it's got an even margin all the way around. Now because I've used bits of this to um, stamp and cut out my lemons, um, I don't have a full bit of that, so but I do have this piece here that I trimmed down to six and a half centimeters by ten and a half centimeters. I'm gonna pop that on. I had one of the larger elements from the kit left over, but I've cut a, a half centimeter off either side of that. Um, so it gives me a couple of extra bits that I can play with. I'm going to pop that on there. I've still got half 
off one of the other elements. I'm going to pop that on there and I think I'll probably also put a bit of that on there as an extra element. And I'm going to use one of the circles from the kit for my sentiment. So I'm going to stick with just a note and with the Knight of Navy ink spot. Just add my ink to the stamp, make sure it's fully covered. And I'm going to put that down in that section of the circle rather than right in the middle. I'm going to put that on there and again I have stamped and fussy cut the lemon and a couple of leaves that I can add onto that. So that's how it's going to look when we're finished. So first things first, I'm going to chop that down a little bit. I'm going to add these bits on. I know roughly where I want them, but there's no right or wrong to this. It's just being creative. I'll just pop that there. And I'm going to add this bit on first. Perfect, happy with that. And I think I will leave that flat. I was thinking I might put it on with dimensionals, but I'll leave that flat. You get loads of dimensionals in the kit, um, so you can pop up any of the elements that you choose to do. So. Roughly the same distance there, but obviously a lot further over to that edge. And I will pop this up with dimensionals. So you get a massive big sheet. And I've been using the edges to um, put little bits onto the leaves and things like that as well. As I say, the only other thing that I have used that's not in the kit, as well as my um, Whisper White card bases, is my trusty snips. I've used them to chop bits down and I use my paper trimmer to cut down these bits there. Um, these snips are super sharp. And great for doing fussy cutting even if you're rubbish at it like I am. So I'm going to put that lemon on there. I'll put a little leaf, just tuck that under there. And another one. And we'll have that coming out there. There we go. Now that's overhanging that a little bit. So I'll show you what I did is simply just cut off a bit of the edge like that and that will fit under there. You can just lift that up to stick that on. Yeah, pop that back down again. The great thing about wet glue is that it does take a moment or two to set. And there we go, we've got a completely different card, um, two totally different cards from anything that's in the actual set itself. So I hope this has given you a bit more inspiration to not just make the cards that are in a kit, but think outside that box and come up with something a little bit different as well. So I've still got lots more that I can play with and I have also got the stamp set that I will have forever. Um, so I will 
probably share some more with you sometime soon. Until then, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I really would appreciate it if you did that. There'll be a link to my blog where you can purchase the products that I've used um, in the description bar below. Thank you again. Take care. Bye bye.